Sunday, Memorial Day weekend. So Phil and I are gonna stay at the house today and then we're gonna go to my parents tomorrow. We'll probably do a little like shish kebab -y barbecue, which I'm excited about. I haven't had shish kebabs in forever. Random thought, when I was little, I always wanted someone to be named Bob Shishka. So when they were in class and they would say your last name first and your first name second, they would say shish kebab. I always think about that when I talk about shish kebabs. Anyways, we are gonna cook some breakfast now and then I'm gonna head over to my aunt's house because, and guys, do not get excited. This is like a in the future thing happening. I'm picking up a baby crib because my cousin is out of the crib. So they are gifting the crib to us to use. I told them we probably will not use it for another two years, but we have the crib, which is extremely generous and it's a beautiful crib. So I'm excited to have it. Again, we're not having a baby soon in the future, yes. And one other very exciting piece of news, we were supposed to drop Zeus off today, but it is a Memorial Day miracle! Pupper is staying with us! Pupper, do you want to spend an extra day with us? What do you think? Do you? <laughs> Pupper is full of kisses today, and he's wanted to play like all morning, tossing his toys. Of course. <laughs> All right, we just picked up the crib. It's actually in the back there. I'll kind of show you it a little closer later, but I am making Phil stop because where we picked up the crib was my aunt and uncle's house and they live right on the lake. And the lake looks so pretty right now. So I just want to get a little glimpse of it. So this is Lake Ontario and we got some beautiful boats out enjoying the nice weather. It's about 80 degrees outside right now? Oh no, maybe 70, but it's beautiful. Hanging out, hanging out, looking at the birds and the bees. Yep, we came over to my parents' house because it's on the way home from my aunt and uncle's. We forgot Pupper's leash, so he has to be held, which he's not loving right now. It's a little hot, too. He's like a hot water bottle on a hot day. <laughs> And back to the house we are. I'm gonna prep the shish kebabs and we'll probably eat a little bit later. So I have my chicken marinating in the fridge here and I opened a can of pineapple slices because I wanted the pineapple juice for the marinade. So I have a thing of slices now. I looked up a recipe though, randomly decided I'm gonna make coconut pineapple bread. Let's try it out. So this bread has been an event. It pretty much overflowed the entire time to the point where there was a fire. Phil saved the day. <laughs> and here are our kebabs. Phil did a great job. They look awesome. So this bread had some major tragic moments, but we're gonna try it anyways. 
Happy Memorial Day guys. It's about two o'clock right now and I am packing up to go over to my parents' house for the rest of the day. I will tell you guys, holy cannoli. It is hot. It was snowing, I swear, a week ago. And now our house is like 100 degrees. We put the air conditioners in, so it's slightly helping, but we really need a third air conditioner. So we ordered one and it should be here by next Saturday. Now let's go over to my parents' house. Guys, I came out to show you our lawn because the landscapers came to cut it and some of our flowers are dying. I need to water them. There's also a really big bumblebee on this flower. Another one is over here. Hopefully when we come back, they'll spruce up. All right, I walk up and we got this fire pit going and then this whole set up here. My dad got this faux grass and then Pupper has a nice little pad to sit on. Although we might have to move this pad out a little because Pupper loves Just to lay lots. in the Just sun. Good news guys, the plants sprung back up a little. Hello everyone, it is Wednesday. I took a small clip yesterday, I think just of our dinner. So I'm gonna pop that in right here. All right, I made us some pasta salad and Phil's brother made us some pork chops with bacon. It smells really good. Yeah, it does. But just life update, it has been so hot here. We do not have central air in our house. We do have three air conditioners. One of them though is a window unit that you put like the whole air conditioner in the window. And then the other two are floor units. So the way our house is set up because it's an older house, the only window that we could use the window unit in is forward facing towards the road. And I just hate seeing the window unit out of the window ruining just like our facade of our home so we're we ordered another floor unit and we're just waiting for that to come so it's a little bit hotter than it should be because our air conditioners are working really hard to cool the entire house but yesterday and the day before were absolutely atrocious today has been a lot better so grateful for that in the meantime i went outside to water the plants i'm trying to be better about that so they they don't die on us and this box is waiting out front for us so i'm sure if you're anything like me you get these product videos on instagram and facebook i usually skim by them unless something looks really intriguing and this did so it's basically a home cleaning system and you buy this set and it's bottles and tablets and then you replenish with new tablets and the apparently the bottles are nice glass bottles and the tablets are inexpensive and the whole pitch is basically you're wasting plastic you're spending this money on products that are filled with 90 percent water so the tablets are just a less expensive way to get the same product. All right, let's get it opened. Oh, I like this. The top says refill is the new recycle. So these are the glass 
bottles that it comes in. They don't feel, they feel like a really, really hard plastic, not a glass. So this one is the multi-surface cleaner. This is the, the hand soap, which if we end up using this, I'll need to get a couple more of those. Glass and mirror, and then bathroom. And then it also comes with these instructions. So we need to fill with warm or hot water your forever bottle to the line. So looks like that's going to be the line we fill it to. And then drop one tablet in and wait for it to dissolve. And then you can put the nozzle on and get cleaning. So here are the tablets that it came with. So the bathroom cleaner glass and mirror. This is the foaming hand soap and it came with iris agave. And then we have the multi-service cleaner. So let's try and fill these up. So we had to use hot water and I feel like we have some seriously calcium filled pipes there. And now we are going to put the droplet in. We have to wait for it to dissolve, which I hope we can see. This is what the little tablet looks like though. We're gonna pop that in. Okay, so let's put this in. Oh, there it goes. You can see it, the calcium in my sink dissolved or lessened, if you will. I feel like I'm watching a science experiment. And we'll just wait for this to dissolve like the direction said. I'm going to work on getting the other bottles set up. I didn't even show you my dinner. I already started. We made blue cheese and caramelized onion burgers. And I have this blue salad. It's got like poppy seed dressing, blue cheese, craisins, almonds, and spinach. Very good. Guys, my new keyboard came. My gosh, I thought it wasn't in there for a second. I got the Magic Keyboard from Apple, which I had before, but my keyboard didn't have the side piece. So this is going to be a lot longer than my old keyboard. This says it was $129. I got it on Amazon, I think, for $119. So, and it came direct from Apple. So saved a couple bucks and didn't have to get anything that would be compromised. Apple has the nicest packaging. Oh yeah, look at that. So happy. Hi guys, it's Friday. I am at Bronca waiting for our food. Don't mind the hair. It has been hot in our house and just not ready for hot tools right now. But we did get our third air conditioner so things have started to cool down a little bit. But I did want to address something. I have just felt really defeated and upset today. 
uh, really because of the murder of George Floyd and everything that has happened before it, it just is beyond the boiling point and just really getting to me uh, so one of the things that I did was I did a little research on how I could be a better ally to people of color and I would invite anyone uh, else out there who is white to do the same I I think we all need to work together to radically change the world we live in today and be better. We, we shouldn't live in a world where someone is getting murdered by someone in a profession that is meant to keep us safe. Um, yeah, it's really heartbreaking to me. So. I just felt like I needed to address that with you guys and really wanted to give you a call to action to try to work to be better. If you're already doing things, amazing, good for you, and I feel like I need to do more, I need to be better, and I need to you know, work to influence those around me to do better as well. I want to live in a better world, and I really hope all of you do too. I know that the only way I can start with that is to start with me. So that is what I'm going to try to do. So it's raining here right now, which I feel like is how I feel and how the world feels. It's, it's just so sad. I don't think we can be silent anymore. So I had to say this. I do want to show you the rest of our week. So I am going to head home in just a minute because our food is coming out. All right, Bronco Midtown. Phil, you gotta eat pasta, run pasta. All right, we got some wraps I'm gonna heat up. This is our sauce for the raviolis. I'm, what is the sauce? Roasted red pepper, tomato butter, sausage, and rapini. Yum. A little pizza here. Oh wow, that looks delicious. Pizza, pizza. And we got the charcuterie. I just love how Bronca packages everything up nice. Little casualty in the car, but here's our chicky parm. It looks amazing. We also got some little meatballs too. All right, we're starting off with this charcuterie. The regat and this amazed bread. All right, then so much more food because why not? We have a ton for leftovers tomorrow, and frankly, maybe even the next day. <laughs> Yet again, basically didn't film much of that because everything was so good. We just kept eating. So let me just give you a little rundown. Charcuterie was great. The honeycomb, loved it. Love a little something sweet with your savory stuff. And then the jardinera salad was very good little sweet tangy flavor to it you know we love the ricotta and bread so delicious so good warming it up if you didn't see the video where we ate at Bronca last time you need to watch we, we ate it at home and the nice thing that they do which some people may think of it as a negative but I love it is you have to kind of heat up some of the stuff cook some of the stuff Super easy, not anything really difficult, but it just makes the food taste a lot better. Then we enjoyed the pizza, which was very good. I do like the honey and pepperoni better, but this one was delicious. I thought that it was great. It had some zucchini slices in it. It gave it something a little bit different. Then we had the pasta, which was ravioli. Those were just so light and airy. The lightest, airiest ravioli that I ever had. The sauce was good, although I did like the sauce last time, but Phil liked this sauce better. That makes sense though, because this sauce had meat and Phil kind of likes that vibe for sauce. I would love to try the raviolis again with the Pomodoro sauce. I just think it would be so blissful, off the moon, amazing tasting. And it also had just the slightest lemon hint to it. So I think the Milanese chicken would also be a really nice accompaniment to those raviolis. 
We did have the chicken parm. It was good. I like the Milanese better. A little bit different chicken parm than usual. I think Phil didn't love it as much because it had pesto on it and he is not a huge pesto fan. But I thought it was good chicken parm. It's just, I, I've had so, so many chicken parm and I don't know, this wasn't the absolute best, but it was very, very good. The absolute best chicken parm I have is from our friend Christina. She is the absolute best chicken parm chef ever. No one's ever gonna beat that chicken parm. And then last but certainly not least, the meatballs. These meatballs were very interesting. Now, love my mom's meatballs. They're delicious. Meatballs, I've had other places very good. These ones were really good, but they were different. Uh, I feel like some meatballs have maybe like a slight different taste here and there, but Phil and I think that these maybe had lamb in them. I'm not really sure. They were a little more crumbly, just a different flavor profile, more significant than I've ever had a, a different flavor profile in the meatball. But I really enjoyed them. Phil did not like them, but I, really enjoyed these meatballs they were very good overall another extremely successful meal branca and we have tons of leftovers so excited to enjoy those tomorrow also update on the soap so uh, the hand soap i really enjoy it smells so good very light foam hand soap We'll probably be ordering more and also trying the different scents that I have. I feel like I need to use the cleaning stuff a little bit more. First, the window cleaner, I don't feel like cleaned our bathroom mirror window very well. I feel like I want to try this stuff out a little bit more and see how I like it. I use the Berkeley Green cleaning stuff right now and I really enjoy those products. So. I don't know, maybe I'll have to keep using those. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Happy Saturday, I am in the car with my mom. I just filmed a little something before we left the house, so I'm gonna put it right here. Guys, look at my stove. No more baking soda in here. Clumps of burnt food. <laughs> mom cleaned it out. I didn't do a perfect job, but she can- Mom, can, you're just the best, because every time you come over, you just clean my house for me. <laughs> I'm a good mom. Look at all of this stuff. And over here. Well, it's like, what can I use to uh, cook with that I don't have to clean my stove? So, I can We've see. been using the toaster. Because <laughs> I keep not... This is what happened. I was going to clean it one day, and then I forgot. And I turned the stove on, and then I started smelling the baking sound, and I was like, ugh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't clean it. So then I had to cool down and it just compiled. I know. But now we are on our way to Joanne Fabrics because stores have started to open up. So my mom wanted to go there and she has been deprived of going to Joanne Fabrics for months now. She needs to get her fix. <laughs> Not that she needs any more fabric, but. I am a bit of a fabric hoarder. <laughs> yeah, she does hoard a lot of fabric. I love fabric. <laughs> so, let's go to Joanne. All right guys, here we go, Joanne's fabrics. Oh my gosh, guys, I love all of this stuff. Give me. Okay, I might have a heart attack because now they have all this beach stuff that'll go amazing in our new bathroom. Okay guys, I am back from Joanne's. I got some tropical vibe stuff for our polynesian -y living room and then i got one little thing for our new bathroom so let me show you the bathroom first and then i'm going to show you the living room so first up we got this little tea towel it says life is better by the sea and then we have these awesome additions to our tv area so I got the frames that are behind and then these golden leaves. I just love how it looks. Can I tell you guys, I was gonna hang these up, but Phil just told me to lean them up against the bottom and I think they look way better. I feel like my design skills are rubbing off on him. I'm so proud. 
Guys, UPS just came and I got my new camera handle. Let's check it out. All right. Here it is. Yes, I will be sending this back. This is so flimsy. It's like the lightest plastic. Uh, one reason I did want it is because it has this kind of like joint movement. It's not even moving now. Ah, I want my old one. It wasn't available. Well, I'll keep checking back to see if it is and we'll return this guy. I was lighting some of these dollar store candles that I randomly had. They don't smell like anything. Hence why they're from the dollar store. So I'm just going to donate them. And I have a new candle from Bath and Body Works that I'm going to light, which is the Cactus Blossom. I love this one. You can see I've already lit it a little bit. But this scent has Cactus Flower Petal, Sun-Kissed Coconut, Vanilla, and Fresh Sparkling Lemon. Yay. So I've been working on editing videos kind of totally in a daze. And my parents called me to ask if we were all right because we live right next to the mall in our town and apparently there are lots of looters and people raiding, I don't know, I, I hear cars beeping and there are police, I can literally see into the mall parking lot near the movie theater there are police cars over there so we just took the air conditioner out of the window downstairs and just locked the window went through made sure all the doors are locked we're just trying to hunker down to make sure we are safe i'll show you what i can see of the police cars it's a little hard to see through a window screen but and right over there on my finger is there's a cop car and there might be more than one actually over there because just beyond these trees is the mall and that is an entrance to a neighborhood so I'm really glad that the cop car is there kind of keeping the separation of the neighborhood to the businesses not that we want anything bad to happen to the businesses, um, but individuals' safety is important too. This, um, there's a police car kind of driving around there. It's kind of hard to see, like I said, because of the light and my screen, but also all of these trees are in bloom now as well, so. But we are just gonna stay here and try our best to be safe. Police are still over there. It's about 8.50 right now. So I was just looking on Twitter, seeing what was going on. And it seems like I can't read anything about anything happening at the mall right now, but I'll stay on it just to be feeling safe. Now you can kind of see the cop car lights because it's getting darker out. Just wanted to give a couple updates. Um, I've been following some news happening from the police scanner. It's been a little crazy to the point where at one point we thought the lions were loose at our local zoo. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. But yeah, just <laughs> literally been trying to upload this video that I'm working on, a pin video, for hours because I'm just so distracted by everything that's going on. It's just kind of crazy. Guys, it's one o'clock. We're still outside. Gonna take this opportunity to close out this week's video. What an ending to the week. I am praying that our city can heal and everyone stays safe and we can somehow find a road to peace. <sighs> Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching this week. I am sorry that this week turned out to be kind of 
not happy. I, I want our channel to be happy. I'm a pretty happy person, but sometimes not so happy things happen. And I think it's okay to be truthful about that. So here's hoping that next week might be a little bit happier. Take care, you guys. Peace, love, and quaterini.